The evidence can be found with unverifiable delusions and credibility. Raising questions about Kamala Harris's claim to the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament, which does not have a match table until 2022. Do you know, okay, a bit of a history lesson. Do you know that women were not, the women's teams were not allowed to have brackets until 2022? Think about that and what that talk about progress, you know, better late than never, but progress and what that has done. Because of course, when, you know, I had a bracket, I'm, it's not broken completely, but I won't talk about my bracket. <laughs> but you know what, just the, how we love, we love March Madness and even just now allowing the women to have brackets and what that does to encourage people to talk more about the women's teams, to watch them. Now they're being covered, you know, and, and this is the reality. People used to say, oh, women's sports, who's interested? Well, if you can't see it, you won't be. But when you see it, you realize, oh. Kamala Harris's remarks can be interpreted as part of a wide-ranging narrative that highlights the gender gap between women's sports and social development, highlighting the perceived unpopular women's sports and attempting to exploit castrated men. Kamala Harris's emphasis on the importance of visibility and representation in women's sports can be analyzed by reflecting the attractive values of fairness and equal opportunity and encourages the idea that athletes with no potential value and ability should have access to the same resources and opportunities. In sports, it is possible to advocate for approaches to ensure fair treatment for all athletes by failing to understand the physical elements of men and women and by ignoring the results of efforts ignoring meritocracy, and speaking of imbalances.